Hello, mighty ones. I come to you from the top of the mountain. I didn't leave you. I just had to go get refilled. I didn't have anything left. And so I was called back to the source of all. And I had a, a huge, huge experience that I have to share, no matter judgment or anything. I have to just, for the record, this is for the record. I went, and as I'm on the mountain with Source, went through the deepest meditation, just the deepest underwater meditation and I was taken into the spirit and I was given some some pointers on on what to do and what I need to do next and and to refill and to just get that solid vision just to have everything just just in its place and I was told to call out for Elijah. And I was calling out to Elijah. And it was like a drum beat. That that's kinda how that's his like calling card. Elijah, 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 Elijah. And I, he finally he finally showed up and he was so big and and beautiful, he had such thick, beautiful hair. And he, he was like, he, he kept calling me boy. He's like, what can I do for you, boy? And it was just so humbling and so, uh, it just it just really put me in my place. And I just asked for a, a third times the anointing, like, Elisha, he got two times the anointing of Elijah. And I figured for this day and age that we could use a little extra on top of a little extra. And I just went out on faith and, and he said he'd do it, but I had to do something very personal and forgive someone that has hurt me beyond any other human ever. And, and I buckled down and and in tears, I, I apologized, and regardless of wrongdoing or anything, I just did I was, as I was told. And and as I was in tears afterwards, he says, "Suck it up, boy. I'm here with you now." And so the spirit of Elijah has now returned fully to this planet, and is ever growing. And then I asked Elijah if there was maybe another one that I should go to and, and get help from. And, and he recommended I go to Moses. And I have really close ties to Moses. And his was a little bit different. It was almost like a, a ghostly Moses. Moses. And it's just calling out to the in the ethers. Moses and he showed up and it was so amazing he would go from young like a young pharaoh type to you know just kind of older and and with a like a robes covering his head and and I asked for a blessing and and he just he said to get his anointing of the Mel the Melchizedek priesthood and to fulfill all of the different priesthoods that I hadn't quite attained yet, um, that I would have to find some more balance in some personal habits of mine. And so I'm, I'm in the process of doing that. And, and so it was, a, and it was an amazing, amazing experience to meet him and to go through just some of his understanding of the people that he had to deal with 
and and just being able to go on top of the mountain and have those people support him and and then to just get the job done no matter how difficult and no matter how frustrating the people may be and so I I was able to do that and fulfill that and he blessed me with that anointing and then I asked him if there was somewhere else that I should go and he said uh, go talk to our brother Noah and so I, I again reached out into the spirit and and I was just it was so it, it, Noah's calling card was even is a little bit different too it was a little bit it was just like Noah 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 and then he appeared and oh he was just so I, by this time I was just so tired I couldn't quite focus on on his looks I, I just I just I knew him and I saw him and I just thanked him for being able uh, just to build the ark and to preach for, it was like 160 years or 120 years. It was just so long. And, and just that level of faith just brought me to my knees. And, and so I asked him to, to bless me and to anoint me with that. And he said that I had to get on my face in the floor and bow seven times and say, I'm sorry and thank you. And that his anointing and blessing would be over, over and upon me so that I can lead and build this huge ark and preach and teach for as long as it takes. And he says, even if it's just eight people that get on board, those eight people replenish the entire planet. And if it was good enough for him, is good enough for me. And that really set my heart at ease. And so, I'm sorry that I'm not allowed to show my face or be with you. I can't even release this for another two days because Moses went up to the mountain to get guidance and he was there for 40 days. And God said that I could be there and do, in this day and age, do the equivalent of his work in four days and so I just I wanted to share this experience and these this new level of awareness and this new spirit that is these new spirits that have rejoined us again and and so I believe on Wednesday today's Monday I'll be able to release this uh, like I said I just wanted to get it while it was fresh on my mind um, I didn't want to forget any of the, just how beautiful it was. I, it's already just kind of, it's just it's very challenging to continue to grasp onto that, that vapor. And so I just wanted to come, come to you while I'm on the mountain and just tell you that I'm always with you. I'll always be with you. And I just... I'm sorry for kind of my my abrupt departure, but you know, we got to do what we got to do, and God is gracious to let me be able to at least, you know, to say something to somebody, and so I just wanted this to go on record about the Elijah spirit is back and growing. Moses' spirit is back and growing, and Noah's spirit is back and growing. And it's not about this vessel here, but it's about what we're all being blessed with because of these experiences. And so, I just wanted to leave you with that peace and understanding and thank you for your support and it's an honor to serve you and I just I just appreciate everything that you are everything that you do and everything that I do is for you and for God's kingdom for the greater glory of us all and it's, it's just an honor 
and and I've just been growing into this calling, and it's it's been wonderful and very very challenging as you might expect, and I just I just come to bear good news from the mountaintop, and I'll be able to see you soon. He says four days, and if you choose to come back, then then I can, and then I can share this. So. You guys have been very encouraging to me, and, you know, it it broke my heart seeing so many people disappointed, and and just, I just wanted to let you know, I, I haven't gone anywhere. So be at peace, be filled with the anointing, and these new spirits, and this new help, and just... Gather your strength and be at peace. Much love. See you soon. Love from the mountaintop. And Lamaste.